everyone, my name is Olshus and today we are going to make some review of the Android and uh, let's take a look for the old devices, old school devices, so let's start. Okay, so let's install Cyanogen Mod on Galaxy S4 International model. So what you have to do, you have to head on, on downloads, cyanogenmod.org and then you have to select device Galaxy S4. So next thing is for you to decide what uh, release you want to install. So uh, either the latest release, uh, which is like, which is the official one of the Gal uh, Cyanogen Mod or you would like to test a beta version which is uh, called type which 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 is called nightly type uh, so um and the nightly nightly type is the most uh, recent for android version so cm13 means that it will be android 6.0.1 okay so you click on that and it just automatically starts to download since I don't have internet here so it will not download but anyway you can see from here that uh, I know two things um, this is the zip uh, CM13 so that's a basic download the main one and also I need to download uh, Google Maps which is called uh, open G app, app apps yeah so um, and uh, so let's go down, head on to the if uh, if there will be internet and I hope there will be. Um, so anyway, when you download G Map G G apps, I recommend to download a store version, uh, which will be a stock version, which will contain all the necessary files and the apps uh, for daily use uh, daily usage. So uh, well. And now let's talk about, for example, what if you screw your de device, you know, your hard brick or soft brick. So let's, uh, let's turn the device off, let's power it off. And um, just in case, let's uh, do one procedure. So what do you have to do? You have to click three buttons at once. So one of them is volume up, then home button, and then a power off. Uh, I mean power button so let's do it and you have to hold on for few seconds once it vibrates so you can see also that it's uh, booting into recovery mode recovery booting yeah and then you will see uh, good recovery which is really really um, useful and it's the latest one which is called team win um, yeah recovery project uh, and uh, I think one of the latest version 3.00 yeah so what we have to do is uh, make a test so in this case if you if you we we wipe side thing and just you know you make mistake like you wipe this this no this um, cage and then suddenly you know just you take data which is will be a critical thing you will lose all information all the files all photos, music, all ev everything, and then also the system will be deleted. So basically, you have nothing. And anyway, don't panic. You still have. I will. I will explain you how to. You know to to fix that. So um, let's do it. Let's do that. You know, just just in case. So, for example, um, data, everything, and then a swipe to wipe. But anyway, if you want to, to, to make it just a uh, clearer system, just to delete system, so what you have to do, just you have to, uh, once you click wipe, you just swipe to factory reset. And it will be the best option because it will just automatically uh, delete system and all the files in order to install a new system, a ROM or a Google Apps or any other things that you want and so um, in this case let's make a mistake on purpose so what I do I just delete everything well uh, internal storage cage let's do it um, just a second uh, yes okay cage and then swipe to wipe
Yes. And after that, you probably think that, oh my God, you even will not have access to the storage of the phone, but well, fortunately you will have. This is, that's why this recovery is really cool. It's all, also, it's, um, it has not only a touch screen, but also you can plug in your USB and then you will be able to put all the files inside. So if for example, you reboot the system and then swipe to reboot, and you most likely you will see just a Samsung logo and nothing else and the system will not boot up so that's a failure and you have nothing none of the files and just just it's a soft bricked phone yep it takes long so anyway I can wait longer but uh, it's uh, pointless because anyway it will not boot up so what you have to do is you have just just to remove the battery put on and make the same procedure what that we made before so we have to click uh, warm up home button and the power button so let's do it and then I, I will repeat you have to uh, hold on after vi vibration for a few seconds so that it will just uh, just boot into recovery so let's wait a little bit you remember before the in the beginning of my video there was a, definitely you saw the system uh, everything boot up but now nothing so what you have to do uh, let's let's check our storage you know just you can also check on this recovery system um, by clicking probably advanced and file manager and you can see it's just uh, files uh, that have only system files nothing else so basically it's a clear clear device and let's check on the Windows device so we will be heading to this device and now we can see clearly that Device is connected, uh, including devices connected. We see our storage. Well, it's but still we have some files, but I think uh, they are use, useless and nothing is inside here. So um, what we have to do? We have to put a new file. Okay, I might create a new folder, but somehow okay. Okay, let's. Delete one. And just, uh, just uh, click inside, and uh, th those apps that I downloaded, we have to put that inside. So let's do it. Okay. So, um, sorry for taking time because. Of, okay. So you see those files? Yeah. So this is the main files that we put inside the folder of our Android device. Yeah, so basically we are putting it here. Yeah. So uh, let's wait a little bit before it like does its job. Yeah. So uh, I, you can see the, the storage, uh, uh, the, how many space space uh, does each file uh, requires so uh, main file it requires over 343 megabytes and google apps uh, it depends so i just chose a mini uh, which is uh, not a stock version just you know just to work faster and um, just just a basic thing to test and uh, let's let's see so okay it's finished so uh, now let's make install and in order to work also Google Maps you have to okay let's do like this way uh, we click this and then add more zips and also and you click this one so we can clearly see that I've chosen two of max of 10 files queued and uh, okay and then you just swipe to confirm flash okay
so I can see installing so you see there is no need to panic everything can be figured out even uh, my mom's uh, scratched my phone was broken my mom's phone was broken so <laughs> it's still it's repairable and will not cost a lot so we can see a process uh, which includes like uh, developer terms and um, verifying the updated system image okay so it go keeps going and going and then after some time you will see that it's finished so I'll just film a little bit more so that you can uh, compare just in case if you uh, install on any Android device uh, or see Anogen mod so okay so result was succeeded now installing uh, open Google Apps and installing core Google Apps and it just keeps going and continuously doing its job so um, and okay so so for now it is okay so you can also see the names of the apps that are being installed so you can see mainly all of them are google apps one of the interesting features is that you can see the time and uh, the temperature of cpu which is 555 degrees of celsius now and uh, well it's unstable because it's, of course it's working the battery also uh, you know the most important thing that before all those recovers were invented uh, all, all all the first recovers so uh, they didn't have access to use usb so that uh, you can charge the phone just just like just like putting the usb inside the phone and it's just charging so that's a very good thing and uh, so we can see uh, that it's finished and then we can just reboot the system but uh, anyway let's just get it and uh, some look some for most features uh, well I can see even terminal you can it's a really developer uh, way made uh, recovery so also you can uh, back up your system in case if you want to restore something, well, even settings, something very useful. Well, uh, there are so many features, you know, time features. Uh, it's like it's like a separate system. <laughs> why why should we use uh, the the normal um, Samsung system? <laughs> no, just joking. So let's just reboot the system. Uh, so in this case, um, okay, reboot system. Yeah, so, okay, so what we have here is Samsung Galaxy S4 logo, and okay, I think it's, there is no need, maybe there is need, okay, so the first steps, the first signs of life. Well, definitely it can. It will take some time, so I will put off my camera. Okay, so what we see now is that it's installed, and we see welcome notification. So let's skip all the parts. Skip anyway. Skip SIM card. No need to sign in. Just I know, just like this, like like this. Go go. Okay, so let's try this launcher. Okay, got it. Uh, so let's increase brightness. Wow, so it's working. <laughs> yep. And let's take a look about phone. So we see also, very, there is very interesting feature Cyanogen mode updates, and also it allows you to to by internet to download the uh, update. Just you click for update, 
like this and it stretches but uh, of course you need a connection the internet so after you check you just simply install it and I will for the next video I will show you how it uh, installs so we can see Android version 6.0.1 Cyanogen mod 13.0 and also we can see the date 2016-08-12 so this is the latest one and well it's done now let's check this launcher mm -hmm. okay oh by letters oh cool cool feature so Oh, nice, nice browser. Well, interesting. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, so guys, as you can see, you can just don't panic. You can do whatever you want and there will be no problem. Just follow the steps that I told you and everything will be okay so thank you for watching and uh, I hope you enjoyed the video and welcome back thank you thank you bye thanks for watching and I hope it will be useful for someone really helpful and if you have any questions so just comment below and uh, thanks for watching and um, please subscribe so thank you thank you and for the next time bye